Left? Yeah. Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. I promised in one of my earlier videos that I will show you the interior of, like interior, like the cockpit of the LMP2 car. Uh, so obviously we are here in Mula right now. It's already evening and I just want to show you yeah, how it looks on the inside. So first obviously, um, that's like the seat. Normally in endurance racing, they're one of the guys, one of the drivers is like um, the basement. So normally that's always the tallest driver um, has like the base seat and then all other two drivers, because obviously you have three drivers that come, do like inserts. They are called, they look like this. So it really depends on what shape you are, if you're smaller or thinner or like body shape, you know, they get adjusted. So every driver, whenever the car comes in and your driver change, you jump in and out with your own personal insert. So that's uh, the seat. Obviously you have seat belts like in any other Formula car as well. It's like a six point seat belt. That's correct in English, I don't know. Then obviously here is the steering wheel. And then we also have like a lot of buttons on the right side. As you can see, there's also a ventilator. So there needs the, because in the end, when it's like hot, there's just the maximum temperature inside the cockpit allowed. Um, all of those buttons are more like engineering buttons. You normally don't use them apart from if the engineer tells you like fuel pump and so on. Um, there's also like a wiper, obviously the headlights, you have different um, strength of headlights. For example, in LMS, all of the races are during the day, but in Le Mans, obviously you need lights. And then this is the steering, which is really nice, I would say. Um, if we go a little bit closer, Jesus. Um, we have many buttons and so many of them are actually getting used while driving. So this is the radio button. Um, that one is actually the flash to flash the cars in front. That's the drinking system button. Uh, that's the drink system button. Here we are switching pages. This one is an acknowledge button, so if you change something, what the engineer is telling you, you have to acknowledge it so it actually gets changed. Pit limiter, which is reduced to 60 kilometers per hour. Um, yeah, wipers, the kill button, so once you do a pit stop, you press that one and the car switches off. Full course yellow, which is obviously limited to 80 kilometers per hour. This one is the button where you actually switch the car on. So you always start in first in endurance racing. Obviously, you press the clutch, which is on the legs, so you have throttle, brake and clutch on the complete left side. Um, so you first press the clutch and then you obviously press that button and the car switches on. You have a different engine mapping, um, PPS, EPS, which is throttle and also steering mapping. So because in LMP2 you have power steering, there's different mappings in which you're actually using. And then also um, another mode button. Um, you can obviously also change brake balance like in every car and that's kind of it like a quick overview um obviously there's many safety requirements in that car it is super safe it's i would say one of the best cars i've ever i've ever driven like the lmp2 has so much aero it has so much power it's just super reliable and the aero is insane so um yeah really love driving that car love racing in it and obviously also had good success in the past with it so that's kind of the cockpit obviously with every team it looks really similar, but then the buttons and so on can be different. It can be adjusted. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's obviously the door. You have a little window here on the side. And um, yeah, that's like a quick overview of how the cockpit of an LMP2 is looking. So best regards. Thanks for watching and see you next time again.